helmet. Ah! Review. Anyways, today I welcome you to a new series. Anyways, you see these two orbs right here? That's because one of my homies dropped my camera while we were filming a skit. It's not his fault. It's the design of the Galaxy S9 uh, Plus. It's just very stupid and slippery and the screen curves. I don't know why they did that. So you want to be careful when you don't want to film. And he tried to open the door and he dropped it, you know. Uh, overall, I blame the designer of the Galaxy S9. Fuck that guy. Uh, although, um, fuck Apple. Anyways, let's get to it, right? Today, we're talking about an American classic. It's been in service for... From 1941 all the way to 1985, I believe. That's quite a long service. The classic American... M1 helmet, very cool, very cool. Now, this helmet has seen multiple wars when it comes to America, uh, obviously World War II. This particular one is a uh, Korean War. It belongs to uh, one of my homies, and his grandfather uh, actually wore this during the Korean War, so it's really cool of him to uh, let me uh, review these cool stuff that he has uh, of his collection. He also gave me his knife, but that's a that's for a different series, you know, another knife review. Um, but yeah, so eventually I gotta give these back. But yeah, these M1 helmets saw action in World War II, Korean War, um, Vietnam War, and uh, somewhere in the 80s. And there are actually still uh, militaries that uh, across the world that actually still use this helmet a lot in South America. I believe I've seen them in uh, Africa also. So yeah, really cool. Uh, most of these uh, helmets today are usually used for parades, but they, they, They're still being seen in combat. Very cool. Very cool um, Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try it on and then after that we can take a close look at it By the way, that was uh, like a loof aqua cap splinter camouflage. I know there's splinter camouflage B and splinter camouflage A I think but anyways, let's take a close look at this M1 helmet I'm just gonna give you all the turnaround. I have to squat because the phone is really low. So I just kind of look silly. But it's a very cool helmet. It's very big. It covers the ears good. You get a nice visor to block the sun or rain. So yeah, really cool. Uh, strongly recommend you wear this with some sort of a helmet cover if you're going into an airsoft field or some sort of combat zone. And this is all you got. Uh, of course, if you're going into a real combat zone, you want a helmet with Kevlar. Um, not sure if you can see it, but eventually I will review it. Uh, there's a tanker helmet over there. That thing is covered in Kevlar, and it's definitely bulletproof. So if people start shooting up the place, I'm going to throw on that helmet over there. But anyways, that's for another time. But yeah, I believe the chin strap's right here. And you could actually remove the liner. As you can see, this is original, so it's all old and beaten up chewed up and stuff and let me get a flashlight for y'all get a close look at that the leather's all chewed up and stuff and you can remove the liner so you can see that's where it holds on oh this this is actually connected to the helmet here see that there really cool so the liner not sure how these American helmets work. So you can see this is just the inside of the helmet. It's literally like another helmet, but it's like made out of plastic. Not sure what the point of this is. I don't know if it's to like secure it or whatever. But yeah, it's basically like another tiny helmet. Just looks kind of funny, you know? And this is the bare shell. The shell of the helmet. See how empty and clean that looks? Let me get the flashlight to show y'all. Clean. This is where the liners connect for, the, I mean the chin strap, my back. There you go. Very lovely. And it's got a little bit of battle wear it seems. Maybe like some scratches in there. But you know, that's just Nate's helmet. <laughs> okay, you fucking do it, alright. I'm dead. Dude, never mind. Let's not do that, that anymore. It pinned so loud. Oh my god. Okay, well, as you can see, guys, it did not penetrate the helmet. And, I mean, 
I can't hear shit. So, eh, let's not do that again. Fucking weird ass Somali pirate. <laughs>